Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Mark Reacts and today I'm reacting to some sneak peeks of the Scooby-Doo and the Backstage Rage fan film. <laughs> Couldn't even say that properly. Uh, so it's been a while, there's been quite a few sneak peeks. I'm actually doing sneak peek number three all the way to number seven. And the reason why I'm doing them all in one video is because they're not that long. Some of them are like one minute, some are 30 seconds. So I just thought I'd do them all at once and then give my personal opinion on that specific clip. And I've just found out that this short film will have a release date soon. So hopefully it's um, gonna be on the like nearer to the 50th anniversary mark. So that'd be quite good. We've got the fan film coming out. Then we have like um, all these other, like we got the um, Zombie Island 2 coming out. So all these good stuff. So let's start with number three, which is Mr. Pietro. Just thought I'd go back and re-watch this one because it's been quite a while, so it's a bit of a like, um, catch-up. Because I believe this was at the start of January, on January 11th. So yeah, it's quite a long time. So without further ado, let's begin. As you can see, we got the Mystery Machine and the Hex Girls outside Mr. Pietro's. All right, we're here. On Elm Street, that's good. What does that book say? I'm just going to go back quickly. The Beast with No Name. Ah, oh, I know there's a reference, but I can actually not remember. I'm going to come back to that one. Because <laughs> there's a lot of Easter eggs in Hi, this, <laughs> which is quite good. Uh, yes, may I help you all? We how muscly they made him! All built up and sure, bulky. Right in. Those Pick shoulders! You tell he works out. One thing. What is it? The dog can't come inside. Huh? <laughs> Rare. Ah, uh, Scooby's. Like Scooby's always like saying. I promise he won't doesn't believe he's a dog. Uh, well, he's a talking dog, so I'm not really classed him like any other mutt. For whatever he does. Like, okay, man. Is my dog. The soundtrack I quite like as well. It brings that nostalgic, creepy feel. It's what made Scooby Doo what it was because so, of the soundtrack and the build up. Well, you see. What? <laughs> it cuts off right there, there. Oh. oh, I just really want to know what the conversation was like now. We had the build up to the music, the hype of it, and then when it gets down to the dialogue, it cuts out with Fred just about to explain it. Shame on you for getting my hopes up. Let's go on to number four, four the stink peak called Mixie. This came out in February of this year. So let's begin watching this one. And a nice chase soundtrack as well. Somebody or something is following us. Like yep. crazy chase fast. music. We're <laughs> <laughs> not kids. This is what? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's like Pandora all over again. Or pandemonium for the PS1. I got an idea. Okay, she's spilling something, but what is it? Fucking badass, she's starting a fire. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just literally straight up started a fire. I was not expecting that. Then again, I, I was told that it was going to be gory and violent. So that's good. It's like uh, Scooby Apocalypse. Well, not like the actual comic, but still that nice horror and violence build up to it. Okay, that one was only 1 minute 10. It didn't feel like it was long, actually. I felt that was quite short. The other one was about 1 minute and 32, so <laughs> that felt long, that one felt quick, but maybe it was the build up of the music, I don't know, 
We got the next sneak peek, which is only 24 seconds, but uh, Freddy be wrong is what the title's called. Hopefully this takes place after when he had if that Mr. conversation Pedro with Pietro. Had security, they were obviously terrible at their jobs. I love Frank, like, like, I love Fred's expression on his face. It's just dead. Something. Like he doesn't give a hey, shit what they're saying. This place is a bit clunky. What the? Oh, <laughs> Fix okay. this falling apart. <laughs> okay, I know, I know it's only 24 seconds, but it's like trying to make out. Was that an air duct? I think that was an air duct, unless there was something coming out of the air duct. That that what it looks like it's like whether it could be like breaking apart, but it's a snap. So unless it's breaking or someone's trying to come through, but then we've got like Fred's most confused and like what the fuck was that expression? You two were right. Oh, his voice drops as well. I just noticed that. Oh, okay, let let's go on to number six called the Ghost Girl. And this is one minute and one, and there's also another official trailer. Uh, so I will be doing that separately. Because I don't want to make these videos too long. It looks like a ghostly manor. I'm only saying it's ghostly because normally when you have buildings with that aura around, it normally means that they're haunted or they're possessed and some shit. I, what, what is that figure? That can't be a villain. I know what they did. They probably, like, if he is the villain, they, like, basically made him so you can't actually do it like he's a shadow figure. And I've seen it in most anime shows as well, so you don't actually see the main protagonist until the very end. Yeah, so I'm very confused about who that is. Like, I want to know who who it is. So how is his progress So we've got going? Ghost Girl. Then who is this? Not so well. So there's no voice for this person. I'm looking in the description. It says, the mysterious ghost girl who shares a link to Shaggy's character arc in the film. Who could be this figure? Because this, this isn't the ghost person. If this is the main protagonist, oh just trying no. to figure out who That's it might be. Good. He doesn't look that it evil, like though. He doesn't. He doesn't. A reminder of the memory. Well, he's got no voice, it's just dialogue like text box. Bites with your cocoa? Okay, God, it's just, I'm, I'm trying to think who could be a good protagonist to put in here. But then again, right. if it's because if it's the ghost no, girl's connected to Shaggy's here. past in the film, we're trying to think who would be a good, like, a good protagonist. I, I am thinking of my hair like Scrappy-Doo. Like, like I, I know I don't like the character, and I've always hated the character, but it'd be kind of cool to see Scrappy Doo make an appearance in this as a somewhat of like an evil protagonist, like some sort of like villain. Whether it's just like a short scene, but he can make a short cameo, just throw him in there and see what he can do. But I'm very confused. And I'm very interested to see who who is that green figure because the ghost girl talked to him. But then we have the ghost figure itself, like like talking to the shadowy figure, and it's like, who could it be? That's the thing. I'm stuck on that one. But then again, that's the whole point of sneak peeks is to build you up for these sort of things. So maybe I will have to wait till the actual <laughs> thing is out. Then I can put two and two together and make ah. That makes sense. All right, let's go on to the last sneak peek, and this is titled "The Old Man and Johnny." Hello. Welcome. But sorry, looks like we're closed. That's all right. We oh, Velma's in here. A couple of questions, Mr. Pietro. Oh no, I'm Mr. Snyder, the manager slash salesman. Mr. Pietro just left. Oh, okay. Yeah, I also do some puppet work myself. Take Johnny, for example. Howdy there. Who are these hippies? That was a, I remember watching the backstage rage episode. And I have to say, the actual, that that was the most creepiest episode that I watched, and it did give me nightmares. So seeing it back in here is like reliving those memories. Well, I don't have nightmares no more, but it's just good looking back, thinking I was terrified of that puppet. <laughs> I think the carnival episodes are my favourite because, as I live in the UK, we don't have carnival carnivals. Um, not like over in America where they have big carnivals. We have stupid little fun fairs, which are pathetic. And they're not carnivals. It's like we call them carnivals, but they're fun fairs. That's all they are over here. But when you go to America, you go to a fun fair. It's a massive big fun fair, like an amusement park. 
and then in the carnival it's actually a proper carnival over there so out of all the carnival episodes I love the most in Scooby Doo because I know I never get to see one as I live in the, the UK so it's good to see a take on it uh, <laughs> And then puppets, as puppets weren't really, like, I don't think I've owned a puppet, but the actual episode itself did petrify me because me of the actual creepy puppet. And the old man just looked very suspicious in the episode, so I didn't like the tone and the setting of the episode. And then you got the nice soundtracks to go along with it, the like, build-up, the intense... Um, the creepy music and stuff going on. Then you have the laughing tracks. That's another thing as well. What they should do is like add laughing tracks from because I think the last laughing track ended in the 90s. I think or it could have been like the uh, early 80s for all I know. But the laugh tracks back then were very good for Scooby Doo. Because it add to that third party feel, like you're not the only one watching, and you feel like you're with, like, there's other people watching it with you. Because they're normally made from in studio office, so the people who worked on that show or episode did, that, did, that, did their own laughing tracks for it. So every single one was different than the other, which I quite liked. So hopefully they have, might add some laughing tracks. Hopefully we get some more of that scary build-up with the old man and Johnny. Um, hopefully he plays an important part. Hopefully it's more creepy as I remember it. And so on and so on. Hopefully that's carnival as well. You have to put like a carnival sneak peek. Whereas them driving past carnival, I, I, I would like to see a carnival. That's just my personal opinion. But so far... With the sneak peeks that we have seen, it does look very good. The animation style is good. The voice actors are more clearer than what they were at the start in the sneak peeks. I heard it's going to be a long short film. I think it's like 94, 96 minutes, which I quite like. And hopefully there's going to be like a like a sequel as well or a prequel. You could, you could probably do a prequel to this, actually. Actually, no, I scrap a prequel because that just leads to a pup named Scooby-Doo. And we don't want to see a pup named Scooby-Doo <laughs> sequel because that sucked. Um, so hopefully another sequel. That would be quite good. Another, like, horror f horror adaptation. But it's good that you chose the Backstage Rage episode as, like, the uh, main subplot. Because that's good to base everything around on. It's a creepy episode. And I think everyone will agree. But that was, my well, hands down, Scooby-Doo's creepiest episode just had everything right with the soundtrack and it gave me nightmares but it's good to see that it's actually being used in a fan film but yes i hope you guys have enjoyed the backstage race sneak peeks that i've just reacted to if you enjoyed this and you want to see more then please leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel to post notifications get back to you when i post new videos each week also as well I'll leave the links to the facebook and youtube page so go check them out and follow them for more updates and all the exclusive so you never miss out on any new clips or updates to the show and they are will be releasing the announcement date soon so you don't want to miss that but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you next time but until then take care